Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Today we're reviewing the Latitude 5290. Now this is the two-in-one with an auto-deploy kickstand. And it's a beautiful machine. It has a, a lot of features actually that I, I didn't know it had when I got the machine. I was unaware that the pen magnetically attached to the side. Uh, it's a two-button pen. It's an active pen. And uh, it actually stays very nicely on the side. And I like it on the right side, I'm right-handed. Uh, you can see it's got both these buttons, which are mappable in the newest version of the Tablet Pro Pen Tool. So you can change that to whatever you'd like it to be. Uh, the design is really nice and clean. Uh, the tip feels uh, like your standard Wacom pen. It's not Wacom as far as I know, but it's it's got that plastic feel. Um, it's good, no complaints. Machine is nice, it's got squared edges, and the volume button's here on the side. You see it's got a memory card holder in the back, and I had problems with that popping out, uh, popped out once or twice, not a snug fit. You see all the ports, pretty standard, two USB-C, volume rocker, USB-A 3.1. Um, that's your power button, and that's a Windows Home button, which we haven't had on the outside of the machine, I haven't for a while but it's nice to have it there and it didn't seem to ever get in the way. Now the screen is a 1080p screen. It's got an i5-8250U, which is a quad-core processor, eighth gen quad-core processor, and it felt really fast. It was very quiet. Simultaneous pen and touch worked better than the Surface Pro 6 that I have. Uh, here I'm using Paint Tool Sci to do some color blending and mixing, just kind of demonstrating the uh, use you can have as uh, an artist here. And Paint Tool Sci version 2 is, is very, very fast and very light, so it's not a, a really great indicator of where it's going to start lagging. The processor is the same i5 processor, the 8250U. It's a quad-core 8th gen Kaby Lake processor. Same one that's in the Surface Pro 6 i5 model. Um, both of them performed well in a lot of different tests. Uh, however, it seems that this Dell Latitude performed uh, quite a bit faster in the lag test in Photoshop. So the line jitter was pretty similar to the Surface Pro 6 as well. Um, there's a little bit of line jitter when you're zoomed out. You'll notice it when you're zoomed in. Um, basically disappears. Uh, parallax, the thickness of the screen in between where you see the digital ink and the pen tip touching. The space in between was negligible. Um, it has the same type of keyboard as the Surface Pro 6 does as well. It snaps in, uh, magnetically attaches up. It felt nice to type on. Um, nothing real notable about it. Uh, machine itself, again, it's really a nice looking machine. I like the kind of darker gray and black theme that's been uh, showing itself in a number of products. One thing that I wasn't able to find, and if you guys know where this is, please comment. Uh, I wasn't able to find where we can adjust the standard pressure curve for the pen. Uh, does anyone know? Uh, Dell Active Stylus, uh, where the pressure curve, where you can adjust that. Uh, it, it performed well. Uh, you can see I'm doing a number of different tests here. Uh, we're doing the jitter test with pressure turned off, and this is the newest version of Photoshop as of June 3rd, 2019. Uh, the canvas size here is 10,000 by 10,000 at 300 dpi. Uh, when zoomed at 100%, uh, you'll notice that there is some jitter in the lines when you're zoomed in to 500%, which for this size canvas sounds like a massive amount, but it actually makes sense. Uh, we're doing here at the ruler test. I'm using my Surface Pro 6 pen. And you can see here is really similar, very, very similar to actually what the Surface Pro 6 is. And one of the few things that sets this computer apart, uh, the screen resolution is lower. It's a 1080p screen. Um, it does have a uh, option for LTE, so you can have uh, built-in cellular data. Zoomed in, the jitter is virtually gone. Um, really, I was I was surprised at how much I like this machine. I kind of wrote it off for the first week and was like, yeah, it's a clone. It's not going to be better. And there was a lot of ways where I found that it both surprised me and exceeded my expectations. 
with USB-C charging, uh, I think this is a great option for a lot of different reasons. You can find it refurbished on Amazon right now for about $700, which I think is a great price for this machine and um, worth checking out. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative.